Hello everybody, my name is World Ravager, and welcome to episode 4 of my series on my singing monsters. This episode I will be doing more work around my, um, my islands, and trying to get a bunch of new, um, monsters eventually. So let's see, I'm gonna get 300, from, 300 coins from Claire, 18 coins from Steve, 96 coins from Kristoff, 960 coins from Bad, 120 from Dormammu, 288 from Sven, and 30 from Risky, 18 from Sven and Emmett, I forgot already. 720 from Olaf. 58 coins from Anna. 30 coins from Risky. Um, I forgot already. 96 coins from Elsa. 225 coins from Chameleon. 30 coins from Kurt II. Um, 6,912 coins from Claire. 18 coins from Hans, 960 coins from Bob, 384 coins from Owen, 18 coins from Stuart and Kevin, 1,872 coins from Astrid, and 5,990 coins from Benedict. That was a lot of coins. So, um, as you can see here, I have a, um, egg ready to hatch, so let's hatch it. It is a Bogart, and I know I can't place it. I'm actually aware of that because I was playing this morning on a video. And I needed to upgrade my castle. But I also figured out, um, it costs diamonds now. So I'm into the stage where it now costs diamonds. So I'm getting, I need to get more diamonds. Because I only have 14 now because it costs 20. So now that we're done with our, um, plant island, Let's visit the Cold Island, which you will now see I have uh, some monsters on. Ooh, it says, uh, limited offer, rare reprise, a new batch of rares available to buy or breed every 24 hours, check back every day. Hmm, cool. So, let's collect 128 coins from Owen, 96 coins from Spiny, and 225 coins from Rexy. And as you also see, I have Pingo. I think, I think that's what they're called. A pango, I think it is. I'm actually not sure. Let me see. Pang, yeah, pango. And um, oops, don't want that. I uh, don't need that. Or can't get that. I have pango in three hours, twenty-eight minutes, and eleven seconds. Um, I, I'm, uh, I'm trying to get a quibble breed for it, but I can't get a, um, to get a quibble, you need a Tweedle and a Toe Jammer, but, um, I can't get a Toe Jammer until the Pango is done hatching, so I have to wait for that. So, um, hmm, let's see. I'm actually, let's go back to my, no, wait, wait. Oh, let's collect 44 coins from Anna and 14 coins from Hans. And quickly go back to the map and go back to the cold island because I accidentally made a mistake. I need to play memory. Oops, not scratch, memory. Oh, yeah. Once I get the pango, I can play memory on the, um, my cold island. But for now, I'm going to have to play memory on the plant island after I collect 14 coins from Steve. So let's do it. I'm going to be quiet as always while I do this so that I can concentrate and hopefully get, um, uh, some, uh, oh, what's it called? Ooh, I want to uh, get some diamonds. Let's see what random does. Oh. Oops. I actually was hoping that random wouldn't actually just put you right into the game. Because I didn't really want to do it, but that's alright. Okay. Be right, I'll be right there for talking. Hopefully not that quick, but here we go.
I'm supposed to do the vlog twice. Ugh. So I only got to level seven. Level seven. I got 150 coins and 50 food. So I don't want to pay for another two di or two diamonds for another go. So um, I thought I had it. Oh, okay, so let's clap. 16 coins from Clinton Anna. 16 coins or 18 coins from Lehman Wild Style. 44 coins from Anna. 24 coins from Risky, 55 coins from Duke and Oaken, 24 coins from Kurt II, 17 coins from Hans, and 18 coins from Stuart and Kevin. Now let's do, let's go see who this time's, um, top islands are, starting with number five. Oh. Her, oh yeah, I'm not updated all the way, so I'm not gonna update actually this episode, or will I? Let's update it, why not? Oh wait, no, wait, no, wait, uh, my button. Wait, no, I don't want to see the news. I already know that, because I saw it. So friends, visit top right ones, visit, update. What is it gonna take me to? It's gonna take me to the app store. Um. Hmm. It doesn't give me the option to update it. Hmm. Odd. So, we can't actually look at, um, the top islands this time because for some reason it won't let me update it. So, yeah. So, 14 is, um, I got 14 questions. <laughs> Excuse me. So, <laughs> Excuse me. 23 coins, I'm pissed off. And this time, uh, let's go back to the cold island quickly. And... Okay, here we go. Uh. Hey! Ugh, oh, bless me. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now let's continue our reading of the... Um... Okay, sorry. Monsters. Okay, great. I want to actually see. Are these? Oh yeah. Okay, so these are different. Oh, that hurts. Okay, so these are different. So we're gonna start with the rare pot belly. It costs seventy-five diamonds. I have zero of them. It's only available for fifty-eight more minutes. It's six. Yeah, bless me. It's a um leaf element. And it says, can you spot the rare pot belly? No, seriously. Those weights are pretty heavy and it needs a spotter. This monster is focused on self-improvement wherever possible, which sets it apart from the garden variety that's more than happy to remain languid and pudgy. Maintaining its six-pack and getting regular braces adjust adjustments are of the utmost priority because of its fixation on fitness. The rare pot belly is hard pressed to stay in one place for too long, but if you plant the idea in their multiple heads that can exercise on your islands as much as it wants, it will stick around. So, it's a rare class. It takes one bed, gives you three coins per minute, and can hold 240. Next is the rare toe jammer. Costs 75 diamonds and is the water element. It says to call the toad the rare toad jammer a marshmallow enthusiast would be a profound understatement. It gobbles them up at every opportunity, but thanks to a curious chemical reaction that takes place inside the monster, they drip to its outer membrane and protrude at all angles. The rare toad jammer's shifting coloration may be a product of this same internal process, but while some believe that this theory holds water, others claim it's just a phase. So it's a rare class. It takes up one bed, gives you two coins per minute, and can hold 240. Next is the rare dandadu. It costs 40 diamonds. It's available for 56 more minutes. And it's a mixture of the um, the air and the leaf um, um, what are they elements. So it says, unlike the two minds of its distant quibble relative, the rare data do is only governed by a single intelligence. 
I will beat split between two heads. If one peers close enough, ideas and thoughts can actually be witnessed hopping between the monster's cerulean dandiflorets. Rare dandies are said to have the most boundless imaginations in all monsterdom. Although they're particularly fixated on the idea of ghasts and hats for some reason. So they are they are a rare class. They take up two beds, give you five coins per minute, and can hold three hundred and seventy five. So since we've done that, I'm gonna go and collect the eighty nine coins from Spiny. Thank you so much for Spiny. And we'll get back on with our um things. Next on the list is the rare pango. It costs 40 diamonds. I have zero of them. It's available for 54 more minutes. And it's a mixture of the air and ice chemicals. Or chemicals. Elements. And it says, while still flightless and prone to cold, the rare pango is, at the very least, a bit more resourceful than its common cousins. Using its elongated talons, it carves and shapes blocks of ice to create igloos to take refuge in during snowstorms. Its ornate crest and patterns, pattern plumage are eye-catching, but they do little to improve the low self-esteem shared by all pangos. So it's a rare class, takes up two beds, gives you five coins per minute, and can hold 300. Next on the list is the rare sponge. It costs 65 diamonds. I have zero of them. It's available for 54 more minutes, and it... Um, it's a mixture of the air, leaf, and water chemicals, and it says there's more to the rare sponge than meets the eye. It is a full-scale mutation of the regular monster, recognizable by its superfluous eye, limbs, and leaf sprig. In lieu of fresh, clean water, it emits a viscous ooze that at passerby, which, if they're unlucky enough to get some in their mouth, is, uh, is uh, in an unusual twist of fate, the rare... Wait, it's absolutely revolting in flavor. In an unusual twist of fate, the rare sponge suffers from dry eyes and must hydrate them by its being especially blinky. It says they're a rare class, or they're a rare class, take up three beds, give you seven coins per minute, and can hold 3,600. Next on the list is the rare thumpies. They cost 65 diamonds. Um. I have zero of them, and they're available for 53 more minutes, and they're a mixture of the air, leaf, and ice elements. And it says, while these varieties of thumpies can be found in some abundance in their home dimension, they are very rare. They very rarely cross over into the monster world. The more familiar surface and newbie subspecies are instead replaced by rot and recess. But all share a love for music and mischief. They are a rare species or class. They take up three beds. They give you eight coins per minute, and they can hold three thousand five hundred and seventy. So since we've done that, I'm actually going to go back and collect all the coins that are probably there at my plant island. And yes, I was correct. So let's get eighteen coins from Steve. 27 or 18 from Clinton Anna. 18, thank you, Sven and Emmett. 8 or 30 from Frisky. 58 from Anna. 58 from Duke and Oaken. 96 from Duke and Oaken. 30 from Kurt the Second. 18 from Hans. And 18 from Stuart and Kevin. Since we have done that, now we will go back to the plant island and continue what we were doing. So, let's see. Um, oh, and every island, the same monster on every island makes a different sound, which is really cool. So, the next on our list is the rare Bogart. It costs 65 diamonds. I have zero of them. It's available for 51 more minutes. And, it and it's a mixture of the plant water and ice elements and it says although bogart's elemental affi affinity is usually split between plant water and cold that of the rare bogart heavily favors its chili's chilliest ingredient overcoming the nervous nail and lip biting habits of its common cousin this monster allows its sickled 
toenails and arm horns to grow to full length. Others keep it, encouraging it to use its claws and take up tap dancing to complement its fine bowing skills. But for now, the rare boger is sticking to what it knows best. So it's a rare class. It takes up three beds. It gives you eight coins per minute and can hold 2,362. And since I just missed the rares, I just realized something. If I go back to the plant, the, um, the plant, um, I can collect 85 coins from Kristoff, 95 coins from Dormammu, and, uh, this is the plant I was trying to say. I can go to this, and there will be rare versions of different ones. Um, yeah, there's one different one, but so that's it. So the, the rare quad costs 40 diamonds, I have zero of them, it's available for 50 more minutes, it's a mixture of the rock and water, um, elements, and it says rotten luck for a fog is a rare specimen surface it with. Rotten luck for a fog is if a rare specimen surfaces in its territory. I don't think that's right, I think it's supposed to be is if. Whereas the common frog aspires to attract a mate by song alone, the rare invariably gets all of the attention with its spiraling horns and re resplendently colored head growths. The absence of the middle eye proves to be quite a hindrance, however. It must compensate with a heightened sense of smell, hence its nose, and a touch via its hollow prehensile toes. It's a rare class, takes up two beds, gives you six coins per minute, and can hold 281. So, on that note, we're going to move back to the Port Island after I collect 50 coins from Anna, 18 coins from Hans, and 312 coins from Owen. Back to the Port Island we go. Okay. Let's see what we have here. We have, oh, I was like, I don't even see my monsters in there. Okay, back to the market. Next on our list is not rare. We are all done with the rare, I think. Next on our list is the um uh is that right? Wait. Um, hmm. Uh. Okay. Sorry. I just remember something. Next on our list is the Deej. It costs 150 diamonds. I have zero of them. It's a mixture of the air, leaf, water, and ice elements. And it says, The Deej, attuned to the beat of the earth, pulls together multiple elements to produce a complex beat. A tireless, energetic performer, it keeps all the monsters dancing. And it's a natural class. It takes up four beds, gives you 10 coins per minute, and can hold 17,280. That is actually all the ones on the cold island. So, I'm going to collect 99 coins from Owen, so, excuse me, 5 from Spiny, and then we will move on to the Element Island, I think it's the, no, X, uh, at the Real Island. Oh, okay, let's see what it says, at the Real Island. Welcome to the Ethereal Island. You can teleport Ethereal monsters here from their original islands once they have reached level 15. Shards replace coins on Ethereal Island and can be obtained by exchanging coins and diamonds or by collecting them from Ethereal monsters placed on the island. I don't have any Ethereal Island or monsters, so that's not going to end well. But it, it says a hatch in place a Kazillion. Kazillion what? Just kidding, the Kazillion's a monster, as we'll see. So, the first thing we're going to move on to is the rare Fung Prey. It costs 2,000 diamonds, it's, um, it's, I have zero of them, it's available for 46 more minutes, and to be fair, I have no clue what those elements are. I can say it's extra, it's ethereal, it looks like radioactive and something, but it says, rares of this species have embraced balance so much that their head caps shriveled away to reveal plant-like growth climbing skyward. This growth eventually extends all over their bodies, eventually prompting extra stridulatory limbs to pr sprout. They believe this represents an unfettering of the imagination and a powerful connection to the natural world, even though they're at the real. They're a 
Rare class, take up 10 beds, give you 4 shards per hour, can hold 38. Next on the list is the Wisp. It is it costs 1,250 diamonds. I have zero of them. It's a mixture. It's 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 ethereal. I'm just gonna see. I don't know what those are. Okay, so it says even though it may look like the wisp doesn't get out too often, not, nothing could be further from the truth. It loves to swoop, glide, and careen through the phantasmagorical terrain of Ethereal Island, entertaining other monsters with its mellifluous voice and charming conversational skills. Wisps don't cast wet flexions in the mirrors, which makes it difficult to preen their stylish hairdos. They're at the real class, take up 10 beds, give you 3 shards per hour, and can hold 32. Next on the list is the Nebulob, which is, uh, or which costs 1,250 diamonds. I have zero of them. It's an ethereal. And it says, the little understood Nebulob is one of the few monsters born without a predisposition to music. Instead, it is something that the Nebulob works on all its life, constantly researching new and exciting genres to learn from and experiment with. The elaborate exosuit it dons aids in the creation of its own special style. A dulcet mix of machine and spirit, if pressed, the Nebulon will confess its favorite mu musical genre as rhythm and ooze. So it's at the real class, takes up 10 beds, gives you 3 shards per hour, and can hold 32. Next on our, my, our list is the socks. It, um... It costs 1,250 diamonds. I have zero of them. It's an ethereal. It's ethereal. And it says, according to Monster War, the ancestors of the socks were self-conscious of the gaping holes in their tails. Over time, it was discovered that eating precious stones spurred the growth of peculiar metal pads over the holes. Quite by accident, socks has learned that they could use them along with their tube-like snouts to create smooth musical riffs. The age-old mystery of what does the sock say has now been solved. That is hilarious. <laughs> I, I, that, that is hilarious. Um, I love the socks, and now that, that is just, wow. That is amazing. Okay, so it's an ethereal class. It takes, a, or it, yeah, it takes up ten beds. It gives you three coins or three shards per minute and can hold 32 what does the sock say that is that is hilarious next on the list is the joe billy it um it costs two one thousand two hundred and fifty diamonds i have zero of them it's partially radioactive i can tell you that and it says this rootin tootin ethereal is something of a legend to the scavenging cybops of the neighboring dimension their cycloptic vision and distinctive vocal twang are modeled after the gel billies own. Even though they may never meet face to face, gel billies generously return every piece of cybot fan mail they receive, taking advantage of their many tentacles to write several replies at once. And it is an ethereal class. It takes up 10 beds, gives you 3 shards per hour, and it can hold 30 shards. So that's going to be the end of this episode here, folks. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and check out this app for yourself. Goodbye!